US President Joe Biden has claimed that General Motors electrified the entire auto industry and that Detroit is an electric car world leader. Wow, this reaches a whole new level of cringe and embarrassment for Joe Biden. I frankly am shocked. Hello, my friends. <laughs> Welcome to the Electric Viking. I don't know, I'm laughing, but this is a funny, funny piece of news. Anyway, great to have you here. My name is Sam Evans and fantastic to see so many new subscribers to the channel come on board. Now remember, I have over 570 videos we've created over the last six and a half months. Make sure you check out some of the other videos on the channel. We cover everything going on in the EV world, all different brands, the Chinese EV brands that are coming soon that you'll have options to buy from if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to, obviously. We cover the entire EV landscape. So yes, these remarks that Joe Biden made are real. The president delivered them at GM's Factory Zero's grand opening yesterday. Now, Tesla Rati reports via Simon Alvarez that US President Joe Biden recently visited General Motors Factory Zero in Detroit, a site that the veteran automaker notes would be the centerpiece of a massive electric vehicle revolution. Yeah, it's not going on in China right now, but it's going to start at GM's new factory. Factory Zero has gone through a $2 billion conversion and it is expected to produce several all electric cars, which is good news for the American car market, for American consumers, and General Motors. Starting with the GMC Hummer EV, a hulking zero emissions pickup truck, which ironically would mostly not be included in the Biden administration's planned EV tax credit program. Why? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Biden did not hold back on praise for General Motors when he addressed his audience at GM's Factory Zero, taking careful note to validate the efforts of GM CEO Mary Barra, who I believe is a delusional crackpot, by the way. I'll put a link in the description to a recent video I made talking about some insane comments that she made. And yet yeah, they literally were insane. Um, I think she should be fired because I think she's crazy. Don't get me wrong. I wanted to be fired because I want General Motors to succeed. They need to succeed. Please, GM, do the right thing. Jim Farley, CEO of Ford, is saying the right things. Anyway, Biden noted that the executive effectively, Mary Barra, effectively electrified the entire automotive industry because of her leadership. Biden also praised GM for its goal of shifting to an all-electric vehicle lineup by 2035, a time frame that is, in a lot of ways, very conservative considering the rise of EV companies like Tesla. But don't get distracted here. They're not saying they're going to be all electric in 2025. They're, going to, they're saying they have a lineup of electric cars by 2025. But by 2030, they'll still only be selling 40% of their cars as electric globally. Now, Joe Biden tweeted, he said, a lot of folks know I'm a car guy. I've gotten a chance to drive some pretty incredible vehicles over the years, but I never could have imagined ones like the electric vehicle I took for a spin today. The future is electric and it will be made right here in America. Now, personally, uh, the GMC Hummer, it's a cool vehicle. It's cool, but I mean, it's not really a very logical vehicle. It's enormous, has a massive bonnet where you could probably fit two engines. Just doesn't make any sense. What are you going to do with all that space? I mean, it's four tons. It's just an astronomical kind of waste of space, to be honest. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, if you want a pickup truck because you need it, yeah, I agree. You should get one. It makes sense. But this is not the vehicle that tradies, guys who are going to use it for work, are going to buy. This is just an ostentatious blob for people who feel like they're lacking in some other area of their life. Anyway, moving on. In the auto industry, Detroit is leading the world in electric vehicles. You know how critical it is. Mary, I remember talking to you way back in January about the need for America to lead in electric vehicles. I can remember your dramatic announcement that by 2035, GM would be 100% electric. You changed the whole story, Mary. You did. Mary, you electrified the entire automotive industry. I'm serious. You led. And it matters, Biden said. Well, before this happened, Biden had been criticized a fair bit by um, 
so-called right-wing media sources for being a bit loopy, a bit crazy. But I think it's fair to say, even if you're left-wing or center-wing or whatever you want to call yourself, he's lost the plot. Videos of the US president driving around in a GMC Hummer EV prototype were shared online, with Biden declaring that the future is electric and it will be made on American soil. This completely ignores the fact that Tesla has been mass-producing electric vehicles, well, for many years now. Of course, or the fact that the Model 3 is the most American-made car on the face of the planet. Literally. But it does follow the president's now typical tendency to completely ignore Tesla, full stop, and to kind of try and write them out of history. That's essentially what he's been doing. Now, Biden's statements about the GM CEO leading the electric vehicle transition are fascinating. Seeing as the automaker here is the company that chose to kill the modern electric car in the past by literally crushing the EV1, taking the car back off customers and destroying them. No one really knows why they did that, by the way. Mary Barra, while a notable proponent of electric vehicles, although I believe it's mostly talk, also does not have the best record today, seeing as she noted that General Motors conducted appropriate diligence regarding a $2 billion deal with Nikola Motors for its Badger pickup. The Badger, as it turned out, did not exist beyond a CGI render. And honestly, the entire thing with Nikola really blew up in the face of General Motors. Frankly, it made them look stupid. And Solving the Money Problem made a really good series of videos about just how idiotic GM were in even considering a joint venture with Nikola. Even the most cursory glance at the company gave pretty good evidence that everything was essentially a sham, including their truck, which was rolled down a hill to show it in operation when it couldn't actually move of its own accord. Perhaps the most ironic aspect of Biden's visit to General Motors Factory Zero, however, was the fact that he was driving around in a Hummer EV earlier this month U.S. Democrats released an updated social spending and climate measure that expanded the administration's proposed $12,500 tax credit for zero emissions vehicles, capping the pace of electric pickups at $80,000 U.S. This means that the Hummer EV, when it gets released next year, will be priced at $100,000 up to about $120,000 U.S. before options, meaning it is overpriced for Biden's tax credit and therefore won't receive any credits from the United States government at all. Now, a base Hummer EV is priced just below the $80,000 threshold, but that vehicle is not scheduled to be manufactured until mid-2024. And by then, will it really cost that much or will it be more? I suspect more. Now, there's probably going to be some people unsubscribe as a result of this video, because I know some of you probably like Joe Biden, but honestly, anybody that thinks that Joe Biden is running anything in the White House has got to be delusional. Come on. This guy is, he's, he's a few screws loose up there, surely. Now, I suspect that if Trump could have kept his mouth shut, he'd probably still be the president of the United States. But then again, we probably wouldn't have this impressive EV credit tax bill coming up, and there probably wouldn't be so many billions of dollars invested from the government into clean energy and into electric cars. So there we have it. Now, I think he's trying to create some kind of narrative that the minds of doubtful people can hook onto and through this accelerate the adoption of EV acceptance in America and save the classic American auto industry before it's overrun. Obviously, EVs are, well, extremely popular, but the truth is Detroit barely makes any right now at all. So maybe by creating the myth that they do, it will mean that they will. And that kind of, in some way, makes a bit of roundabout sense. Tell me what you think in the comments below. All the comment sections for the articles about this story have blown up and most of them are just mindless arguments about politics and they don't make any sense. I mean, the gibberish here is similar to the Joe Biden's gibberish, to be honest. But I want to see, the truth is, I want to see us do better than that. Let's do better because I know many of you are software engineers, you're 
chemical engineers, materials engineers, you're all kinds of programmers, coders, doctors. There's some really intelligent people on this channel. Let's blow the comments up. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. But I want to hear some smart comments because I've read all through all these comment sections from all these websites and I didn't find any. So give me something, guys. Give me something. Give me something here. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.